What's going on, everybody? We've, uh, we've got episode two. We stunk it up against the Jets. We lost 54-23. to Josh Allen did garbage. We've already got the, the training done for this week. So I'm taking a look at the lineup. One of our boyos got injured on uh, defense. One of our best corners, actually. Uh, let's see. That's Tredavious White. He is out for four weeks with an abdominal tear, abdominal tear. So because he got kicked, we picked up not Wallace Johnson. Ah, we picked up Witherspoon. That's who. That's who we signed. A two-year guy out of Colorado. He's a 71 overall. And we moved our boy Trent Murphy into the defensive tackle position so upgrading slowly but surely um, our guy LaShawn McCoy he killed it man ran for over 230 yards last game did pretty well so let's uh, let's go ahead and play the season game As Zay Jones. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Cole Beasley, Brown going on the fly route. Let's see what we got. Throwing on second and eight. Ballon. Escaping the pressure right. I don't know why he does. Get that first down. He will have the first down inside the 10 to the They had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off. Right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to. That's caught by Brown for a Bills touchdown. Oh, dude. <laughs> You all right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, team. Touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Bills have taken the lead. We can continue to run the ball. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him. Something just to stop the momentum he has. On second down. It's McCoy. And he'll go down right around the foot. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case... In the right spot, he'll force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. And he comes back with one complete. 19 yards. There we go. Josh is starting to deliver it. Get Cole Beasley involved. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front yeah, buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. A first down carry now for Yeldon. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second and five now. Allen, they'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Like 75. Why didn't you block? Ended up with a solid game. Only way to get the lead here, of course. 
Pierce with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Blocking's a little wonky. They'll try to run this one in. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four on the first down play. I don't know if there's any other way to put it, but that play was blown up right from the snap. How about the guys on the defensive side of the ball? It's almost like they were in the offensive huddle. Yeah, it's one thing to stand him up from that one yard line, pushing him back to the five, though. Wow. Yeah, I like what you just said there. Not just stand him up, but end up making a play on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Dude, LaShawn McCoy is just like killing it. So many fantasy points. McCoy with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Bills have once again taken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Hauschka now for the extra point. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. And Let's go. Get to sack Hughes. Veteran Jerry Hughes drops the hammer in the backfield. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage. Not a great start. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Throwing his man in. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Got a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Throwing now. Manning. Hey, defense coming through big time for us, boyos. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion. Yo, Shady is just too good. LaShawn McCoy off to the races. It's 171 yards, holy crap. The yardage numbers for him just keep piling up for his career. He's now toppled, Charles, the 11,000-yard mark. And just think about that. For most NFL running backs in their career, it feels like if they get to 1,000 yards, they've had a nice little run. He's over 11,000 yards, probably beyond his wildest dreams. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try and run for it with Gildon. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Now on second down, this is Nice go, Gore. The old running back, the guy that is the Iron Man of the NFL. 15 years getting touchdowns. 
something special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight-ahead power, and they got it done. Hauschka adds the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a Frank Gore touchdown run. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. No doubt it's on the offense right here. The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field in this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, it, 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 it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen. There's some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard. That'll bring up second down. Looking to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth quarter. It's going for some big play. Good D, boy. That's two deflections in a row. Trying to move the ball downfield in small little increments. Let's go for the big one. But how about the defense playing situational football, looking at the scoreboard, realizing what can hurt us most? The deep shot. They played it well. Oh, you're kidding me, dude. And downfield, he's got it. It's his running back. 21 yards there on third down. And a two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Bro. Get on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley. His second touchdown on the season. And the Giants able to get this back within a touchdown. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover? And you get him into space, which is where he's going to gonna have to kick on side. Oftentimes makes people miss because that run after the catch and off he goes. And into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. Sean McCoy. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200 yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of know. <laughs> but I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. We're just going to switch that and play. We're going to try to do this smart. Slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there and a first down. So it's Bill's football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a 20th carry here for McCoy. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. We'll likely put an end to this thing. A shotgun handoff now to Yeldon. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause of the action. A timeout here defensively. The Bills on third down. They've been flat getting it done. Eight for nine to this point. This time they face a third and two. Back to throw. Allen. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one. Nah. We got to go for it. And it was third and short. 
Okay. They decide to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Allen will look to throw for it on four. You are kidding me, man. Complete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Giants are going to get the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here. Fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. We need to let him score. Getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the play. Back to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. Yep, had to let him score, man. Take it all in for a giant touchdown. Golden Tate. In the final minute, and the G-Men have taken the lead here in the fourth. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. All right, so field goal will do it. Front here late, but not, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Allen and the Bills now down by one. A little under a minute to go. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. He'll look to throw. And he slings one that's in. Allen. Allen, I need you, dude. God. Kid. Leads to second and ten from the twenty-five. To throw is Allen. Caught on the right side by Jones. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock shows, fifty seconds to play here in quarter number four. So here's a first and ten at the thirty-eight. I'm going to send Beasley toward the out. They'll look to throw. On the left side, he finds There we go. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Allen to throw. Oh, my God. Alan, you idiot. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Well, that puts a little bit of a wrinkle in their comeback bid. Everything had turned around for them, hadn't it? I mean, things were now going their way. But you did mention it's a wrinkle in their comeback. Well, the Bills fall to 0-2, but a valiant effort. And it wasn't really always pretty. Ah, oh, man. Really it's just that, that pick six killed us. Home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But the win... Got to take a look at the box score. So 231 passing, 263 rushing. Not a million times, right? Two takeaways. That's how they beat us. Takeaways cost us. To deal with in the playoffs. This so we got to get better, obviously. So for the Giants, they make amends for so, the week one loss. So, Allen improved greatly, 19-35, 237, three touchdowns, two picks. Those turnovers hurt. 199 on the ground for LaShawn McCoy, 56 for TJ, not bad, receiving 89 for LaShawn, Zay Jones had 44, 31 for Cole Beasley, 34 for John Brown, 33 for Tyler Croft, defensively we did have one sack by Maurice Alexander and one by Jerry Hughes, tackles for loss, we had two by Matt Milano, so we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Just got to bounce back pretty quickly. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, keep the channel going. PayPal link is in the description.
You guys are the best of the rest. And I will see y'all later.